Are you confused or even a little bit intimidated by the histogram display on your camera? You are not alone. Hi, I'm Julie from Ultimate Photo Tips, and I'm going to do a little mini series as part of the Two Minute Photo Tips all about histograms. And today is part one of three. And I want to take the mystery out of this super important feature of your camera. What is a histogram? Your histogram is a graph that shows the distribution of all the different light and dark tones in your image. So it shows you how much of your image is bright, how much of your image is dark, and how much of it falls into the midtones. Let's take a look at what your histogram looks like. First of all, this is the graph without any image information. So the leftmost edge represents pure black, and the rightmost edge represents pure white, and all the shades of gray are represented in between. Now let's look at some actual image examples to make things more clear. The first image I'm showing is of bubbles. It's a high key image full of light tones. Now think for a second, what would you expect the corresponding histogram to look like? Here it is. It's a bump on the right hand side of the graph. Now of course if you had a low key image full of dark tones, you'd expect a bump on the left hand side of the graph instead. Okay, here's an image that has three distinct areas of tone. We have an area of dark, an area of mid-tone, and an area of light tone. And the histogram looks just as you would expect. Here we have three bumps in the graph. The left one corresponds to the very dark area, the middle bump corresponds to the gray puzzle piece, and the right bump corresponds to the white puzzle piece. Now here's a more typical image where you have a full range of tones histogram for this one has a spike at the left and that represents the dark tones in the doorway and it has a larger spike at the right that represents the white wall. And finally it shows lesser amounts of data throughout the rest of the tonal range corresponding to the other tones found in the image. Now you might be wondering how to make use of all this great information about histograms. Well next week in part two of this video series I'm going to talk about using the information from your histogram to help you correct your exposure. In the meantime, if you want more information about histograms or more examples of histograms, be sure to check out the pages on ultimatephototips.com on this topic. They are linked right below this video. Happy shooting, and I'll see you next time.